The construction industry uses classification systems for various purposes like managing project information and asset records or to structure specifications for tenders with the goal of ensuring consistency and clear communication. An essential feature of a BIM process, classifications are often part of national standards as a unified common language that allows project information to be structured in a hierarchical and recognized system. Vectorworks objects can be assigned up to three classifications coming from any of the standards around the world when project or client requirements ask for multiple classifications, or when adding a more detailed classification to an earlier stage one as the project progresses. All classifications assigned to an object can be viewed in the data pane of the object info palette. Vectorworks handles local and national classification standards in a consistent and automated way from a central classification management palette where objects, their subparts and materials can be assigned classification. You can import classification systems or adopt one of the commonly used that's been provided out of the box to start with. You can create multiple rule sets to automatically assign classifications to objects according to their type or IFC entity, for example, or other criteria such as style or symbol name. These will be the defaults you see in the object info palette, but you can always override those manually if you need to do so. Classifications can be assigned to materials too, either via the edit material dialog or directly by right clicking on the material icon in the resource manager. To facilitate clear communication and ensure seamless information exchange in a BIM workflow, data manager functions will ensure classification data is automatically mapped to the corresponding IFC property set. The same functions are available in worksheets, so you can always see the classification of the objects you're scheduling. This automated process will save you time mapping classifications to IFC while ensuring you comply with local standards and project information requirements when collaborating with others on BIM projects. You can easily identify objects that haven't been assigned the classification by applying data visualization to perform a quick and simple visual check that a classification system like Uniclass has been used, or to tag and report objects to show their classification code so you can take full advantage of BIM model data in every work stage, or what we call the data difference. Manage BIM classification codes in an automated and centrally managed way using an easy to follow rules and criteria based system that saves you time and ensures compliance in a BIM collaboration and specification writing workflow.